Hello, Chester Axley here with uh, Powerline here. Going to do a quick uh, overview of operation and safety on uh, one of our trailers here. This is a single axle trailer. It's not going to be much different with a tandem, the operations and safety. So this will cover pretty much both of them. First thing you want to do when your uh, equipment arrives is to look it over. Check for dip, dings, dents, breakages, things that are missing that you uh, were on your order sheet. First thing you want to do. Be sure you uh, check it out, do a walk around. Just make sure everything's okay. Uh, secondly, inside the toolbox, you're going to have an operational uh, manual uh, that you're gonna wanna look at before you really do anything, before starting any operation. Look this over. It's got our safety sheets. Has a uh, safety quality control sheet that you're gonna need to follow. Got the boxes, kind of a paint by numbers. Follow it, you'll be fine. Trailer inspection checkout. Uh, be sure to you know follow it. Again, it's pretty much paint by numbers. And then the uh, safety checkoff sheets. If you have any operators that are going to run the equipment, uh, this is uh, what you're going to follow to get them uh, trained before they can uh, run it. Sign off on the sheets. Your uh, insurance and uh, DOT OSHA will love this. Uh, and then we do have operation checkout. So be sure that you look this over before you do anything. Read all manuals before you start. And away we go. So obviously the first thing you want to do is make sure you put water in your tank. 200 gallon, 300 gallon, 500 gallon. Be sure you have enough water above your build, your uh, bulkhead to uh, gravity feed your you pump. Want to make sure whatever you're hauling this trailer with, it's got the proper two and five sixteenth ball, your electrical, your cable, make sure this is all properly attached before you go anywhere. So you gotta make sure uh, water's in the tank. Make sure the burner is in the off position, not turned on. Uh, side note, when you're done using the burner, it's a good idea to cool it down. Let the water run and cool that burner off. All units come pre antifreezed you can capture that antifreeze by merely taking your uh, five, uh, your hose here, putting it in a five gallon bucket and capturing that antifreeze to reuse for later. We do recommend window wash fluid. It's a little less money than RV uh, and it truly doesn't freeze, so that works great. Um, before you start, once you antifreeze, this valve will tell you the direction. Pointing this way is antifreeze, pointing this way is the tank. So when you're recapturing your antifreeze, this will be in the antifreeze position. Once you're ready to roll, you'll turn this in the water tank. Water tank feeding up here through two filters to protect the pump. Ready to roll. So when starting your uh, equipment, you may have to ch choke your engine if it's cold, but uh, choke it for a little bit uh, and start it. Be sure you have Safety glasses, your gloves on when operating any high pressure equipment. Protection is the key here because this equipment will harm you. It can be fatal. That's not a joke. So you do have to be protected before running these things. So once you've uh, done all your checks, you make sure your valves are, the proper valves are off or on. Make sure the real valve is off. Make sure you're in the water tank position, flowing the pump, burner is off and you're ready to roll. I'm gonna actually show you how to run this thing. We're going to run it as if we're going to use soap. This is a dual lance soap gun. Uh, there is a uh, apparatus for the regular gun that is a soap injector, but for this training purposes, we're gonna use this. <clears throat> quick connect, quick connect it onto the gun. And you come up here again, you're going to make sure that all your valves, uh, the real valve is off, water tank valve is on, and we're ready to fire this up. When you're firing this unit up, depress the trigger to the gun, pointing the gun down, and you are ready to uh, fire it up. Again, trigger pulled. This operation. When you want to use soap, you're going to turn this knob. It's going to lessen the flow, causing a suction in the soap tank. 
drawing soap in through the gun. This valve needs to be on. It is got a slight adjustment. And once the soap comes out, soak down what you're going to clean. Turn this back to high pressure. And rinse. Scrub and rinse. When you're ready to use hot water, you'll turn your thermostat up to the temperature that you prefer. Turn the switch on. Pull the trigger and the burner will fire. fairly quickly. When you're done with heat, turn the switch off, turn your thermostat to off. If you're done washing, shut the motor off, pull the trigger to release pressure, hold it till there's no pressure done, and you're golden. Okay, Chester here again. I'm going to go over the uh, steam operation some of our units do come with steam capability um, and how you accomplish this is uh, where your machine is running in the previous video you saw your burner is on your temperature is uh, set up above uh, 250 to generate steam how you generate steam is this is an unloader valve or a regulator some call it and this is fully adjustable as you counterclockwise you're going to lessen the pressure as you're loosening it, you are lessening the pressure. As you lessen the flow across this burner, it slows the water down, creates steam. I believe 210 is steam. Uh, once you achieve steam, you'll uh, clean whatever you need to clean, shut it down, cool off the burner, let the water flow uh, through it to cool it down, uh, and then you can go back and tighten your regulator back to where it was. When you want to test your regulator to check pressure, it's recommended to do it with the gun off, adjust your regulator, turn the gun on to get a true reading on, on the gauge. If you leave the trigger pulled while you're doing it, you won't get a true reading on what your pressure is. Let go of the trigger, tighten your unloader, pull the trigger to get a better reading. Thank you.